Welcome back. It's no secret China is an economic juggernaut. A look at the sheer number of skyscrapers in its largest cities speaks to the country's growing wealth. But you might be surprised to learn there are an estimated 30 million people still living in caves. Our Asia correspondent Paul Johnson traveled to the interior of China and tells us about a lifestyle that dates back thousands of years. <laughs> Like most people, the Li family are happy to invite you inside their house to take a look. And here you'll find big bright windows, kitchen and stove, a heating system, and the typical comforts of home. A cave home, that is. I've been living in this cave for more than 10 years, says Mr. Li. And he doesn't mean that as a complaint. His cave is just a short climb from the small fields he farms. It's affordable and more comfortable than you'd think. The caves in this province are warm in the winter and cool in the summer, he says. And well occupied, too. This part of China has supported cave communities for thousands of years. It was in these caves where Chairman Mao and his followers regrouped after the long march. Even China's new leader, Xi Jinping, spent a few years living in one as a young man. And in a striking contrast, the vast cave complexes of Shanxi province are now side by side with forests of new apartment buildings, most of them empty. So even with China's incredible growth in the past few years, don't expect cave home communities like this to go away anytime soon. Well, a lot of these folks tell us They'd like to live in an apartment. Very few can afford it. Most of the caves here are owner-occupied, passed down through the generations, and increasingly well-furnished, running water and electricity. <laughs> Even this 90-year-old man we met has caught the home improvement bug. He remembers when Mao was here. And like most of the people we met here, isn't it all ashamed to live in a cave? Paul Johnson, Global News, Yan'an, China.